Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 24th of 2023. Well, it is titled Outbound Comet ZTF. So what do we see here? Well, this is Comet ZTF that we looked at previously earlier this year when it passed close to the sun in January and closest to the Earth near the beginning of February. And now it is heading out to the outer solar system. Uh, early February when it was closest to Earth, it was at a distance of about 2.3 light minutes. Now a light minute would be the distance that light travels in one minute. We also use light years for larger distances, which is how far light travels in one year. And that is to make the distances more comprehensible to people uh, instead of many large numbers of miles or kilometers that really are difficult to wrap our brains around. So 2.3 light minutes to compare it takes about eight and a half minutes for light to travel from Earth to or from sun to the Earth. So it was very close. It was only about one quarter the distance between Earth and Sun. Now it's much further away. It's now 13.3 light minutes away. So now it is about one and a half times the Earth Sun distance and heading back out into the outer solar system. However, we still see the greenish head of the comet there, as well as the tail sweeping back, the white dust tail sweeping back toward the upper right hand side. Now, as it heads back out into the outer solar system, uh, the question is as to whether it will ever return. Some comets are periodic comets, meaning that they come back every certain amount of time, which can be as short as a couple of years and can be long as thousands of years for them to return. Halley's Comet is a very well known one with a period of about 76 years. However, if a comet passes relatively close to a planet, its orbit can be deviated and Comet ZTF did pass uh, closer to Jupiter, which could have affected its orbit and changed it from an elliptical orbit that would continue to orbit the sun into a hyperbolic orbit that would then escape and head out into space never to return to our sun again. So we have to continue to study the orbit as it travels outward to see what will eventually happen to this distant comet. Now here in the image we see it in the Orion region of the sky not too far from Rigel one of the bright stars in Orion and we see some of the dust associated with the Orion star forming region here as well. So that was our picture of the day for March 24th of 2023. It was titled Outbound Comet ZTF. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.